Welcome to the Early Learning Coalition Attendance Provider Portal Training. To begin, we're going to launch Internet Explorer. Notice at the top of the page, I have already defaulted three different tabs for three different home pages. The first one is our provider portal, providers.elcmdm.org. The second one is the Early Learning Coalition main website. And the third one is the training environment. If you were ready to record your attendance as a provider, you would simply go to our main page, single click on provider portal, which is found here on the left hand margin in blue, and it would bring you into the production environment. For today's training, however, we're not going to interfere with any production records, so let's close all those tabs and go to our training URL, elcmiami3.bluegeneware.com. So let's get started. First, input your username, which is in most case an email address, followed by whatever password you decided to set up when you created your account. You could have Internet Explorer remember the password or simply select no to ignore that feature. Like our production environment, we've added several new buttons. Here, you'll notice that we have direct links to some parental sign-in sheets, rosters, and new information regarding our Shared Resource Florida organization membership. There's also information about our model transition for the new service delivery system. At the top of your screen, you'll notice home, your profile, messages, and attendance, children, and ASQs. For today's training, we're going to focus on attendance. So let's get started. When you single click on the attendance button, you'll notice that there are several features. One, the ability to show weekends, yes or no. The ability to show redetermination dates, yes or no. And the ability to show additional details, such as the funding category, yes or no. If we select no on redetermination dates, it will hide that information. And if we select yes to showing weekends, it will show those days. I want you to confirm the number of children that you have in your program by scrolling all the way here on the right towards the bottom of the page to see the total number of children. If that total does not match your total, you may need to contact the coalition to get this issue resolved. Recording attendance is extremely easy. First and foremost, you have to select the child that you're interested in recording the attendance for. So in this case, let's begin with Jackie Russell. We would select Edit, and notice all of the blue X's across the page. On the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, all the way through the 24th of July, X's represent that the child was present. The attendance module assumes that every child is absolutely there. We want you to simply tell us about the exceptions. So, as you all know, school readiness, you're allowed up to three excuse absences. So we will flag a couple of absences and then select save. If you're editing an attendance record, you must select save or the changes that you've made will not take. Notice we have two E's now, representative of the two excused absences and the attendance has been still recorded as 18 days. I'm not sure if the logic would actually count if you exceeded the exceptions, but I'm 100% certain that our payment specialist will catch it. So please, don't over manipulate the data. Next, let's look at Mary Williams. If Mary Williams were to close out the program on the 19th, we would select T for terminate. Holidays and disaster days we would cover here at the coalition and you would not have to interfere with that information. Absent without pay is not good, but it is represented with an N. And you have your A for absent and E for excuse absence. A dot is representative of ignoring the weekends. Again, if you make a change, you must save it in order for it to take place. Once you are ready to finish your attendance, you simply press close attendance sheet. The system will warn you that you are about to close the month for school readiness, a non-reversible action. Are you sure? You would have two choices. If you select yes, the information would proceed. And if you select no, you would not be able to uh, close your attendance. So in this case, let's assume that we are actually ready to close and we select yes. 
Notice at the bottom of the page you receive a confirmation number. Now that the information has been submitted, you'll notice a hyperlink for report and your confirmation number. When you choose to select the report, it allows you the ability to download the information as a PDF. In most cases, you can save this to your desktop and retrieve it later and do with it as you please. I would generally rename the report what it is representative of. July 2013 Attendance Submittal. And that's it. Your attendance training is done. If you have future questions or concerns, please contact the coalition and we'll be more than happy to answer any and all questions and try to help with any requests.